everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sinka so in today's class we're going to be making this beautiful elegant bubu dress style you're going to be needing four yards of Ankara fabric but I'm going to be using two type of Ankara fabric so for each of them I'm going to be cutting out two two yards so I'll be needing two yards of this white one and also two yards of this green one so and also you're going to be needing any plain fabric of your choice so from the start we are going to be illustrating the use ashoki but you can use any plain fabric of your choice it, it must not necessarily be ashoki because right now i don't have access to ashoki so in case you don't have access to ashoki just like i don't right now you can use any plain fabric of your choice so you can use silk you can use um satin you can use crepe you can use any plain fabric of your choice the viva you know all those plain fabrics so but, but i'm going to be using this plain cotton fabric that i use it's a leftover fabric so but in case you want to get for yourself as well half yard of this plain fabric should do half yard is enough for you to make this and also you're going to be needing your thread and also you'll be needing interfacing let's be using this paper gum you can use any stay of your choice not a thicker one a soft stay should do so you're also going to be needing hemming gum all right so let's get into it so I've cut out two yards of each of my fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold the two yards into two. Fold it into two this way, fold it into two this way. Can you see? Like this. Then you place it on your table. You also fold the second one into two. Fold it into two this way. also place it on your table all right so my fabric is folded into four the white one is folded into two then the green one is also folded into two so all together both of them are into four folds this part here is going to be your center front and also your center back and as you can see it is open it's not on fold it is not on fold all right it is open so the first thing you need to do is to measure half inch roll it all the way down so if you're using that type of ankara fabric that their logo at the savage area is big you can first trim it off before you start after folding it like this just trim that logo part just Rule it straight and then cut it off so that the savage is not going to be showing on the good side of your clothes by the time you're done joining. But you know, this type of Ankara that I'm using, the savage, the, the number on it is very small, you can see. So I can that's why I can do half inch. Or if you think it's very big, you can also do one inch. So just measure one inch and roll it all the way down. So all your shockings, all your measurements is going to start from this line that you just rolled. All right so the next thing i'm going to do to also rule a guideline here so that i can have a starting point for all my vertical measurements from so, the edge you can measure one inch and then you roll it this line that we just rolled is going to be to serve as our shoulder it's our guideline and also it's going to serve as our shoulder the so, next thing i'm going to do now is to input all my length measurement so from this guideline i'm going to input my shoulder to nipple point so my shoulder to nipple is 10.5 i'll make a mark after that you're going to measure from the shoulder down to where the cow is going to start from the the curve part of the bubble starts a little below the hip line so i'm going to measure 32 inches then from the shoulder you measure the desired length my total gown length is 60 inches so i'm going to measure 60 inches then with one inch seam allowance i'll do one inch seam allowance then i'm going to extend all the lines so the next measurement you are going to be inputting is your center back to your desired sleeve length measurement. Sleeve length. But I'm going to, I'm just going to be using the total measurements that I have here. This is Ankara fabric. So the total length I have here is, is 22 inches. So I'm just going to be using this whole 22 inches. I'll jump this nipple point line. I'll come to this, this length that I mark. 
I'm going to input my hip circumference measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. My hip circumference is 42 divided by 4. That's going to be 10.5. So I'm going to measure 10.5 starting from this line. I'll measure the 10.5 this way. Then I'm going to add 3 inches to that measurement. I'll add 3 inches to that measurement. Alright, so from here now, I'm going to roll it straight down to the M of my dress. Can you see? I'll roll it straight down to the M of my dress. And then from this point, I'm just going to connect slightly like this to the nipple point. See the way I've connected it? Yeah, exactly. That's the way you're going to do it. It's a slight curve. You connect it to your nipple point like this. Can you see? Now that this side is done, I'll come back to the shoulder. Then, starting from this point, I'll measure 3 inches inward. I'll measure 3 inches inward, like this. Then I'll go to where my sleeve length stops here. I'll come down by 1.5 inch, like this. And then you're going to connect from this 3 inches to this point. Then you add half inch upward for your shoulder seam allowance. And then that's going to be your shoulder seam allowance. So the next thing for us now is to input our neck line. For the neckline, starting from this line, I'm going to measure inward three and a half inches for the neck width. I'll measure three and a half inch this way. And then the neck depth for the back is going to be one inch. It's going to be one inch and then you're going to connect together this way so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut this out i'll cut this out then i'll show you what next to do we are done cutting it out no longer need all these pieces you take them out of the way so the next thing you're going to do now is to notch notch here so that you can know this is where you are joining because it's going to have joining in front so all right so what you're going to do next is to remove the inner piece just flip one out this way then remove one green and then one white okay that's going to be the back so you take it out the back is ready so take the back out So fold this one back so that you can put the front neckline. So this is the front. The next thing you need to do now is to input the front neckline. The front neckline is a V neckline. So what you need to do is come to your nipple point line. This is your this is my nipple point line. From this short point, from this shock that I have here, point here, I'll measure one and a half inch inside this way measure one and a half like this from here to here you measure one and a half inch and then from this point you connect it to the neck width like this so this is the front neckline i'm going to cut this out this so the next thing you need to do now in an angle from this point in an angle just measure half inch inward like this and notch it it's very important notch it half inch please it should not be more than half inch just half inch in an angle this way can you see All right, so we are done with the front. So don't forget, you are still going to notch this your line so that you know where you are joining from. So what you need to do now is to take this front to the sewing machine. From this point here, join it all the way to where you want your slit to start from because it's going to have slit in front. So from the M line, I'm just going to measure, measure 15 inches upward. That's where my slit is going to stop. Because it's going to have slits in front. 
so i'll measure 15 inches upward this way then i will note that point you can just give it a small tiny cut so that you know that that is the point you are joining from all right so from here now take to the sewing machine and join to this point and then for the back you are going to do the same thing match them together right side to right side right side to right side like this and then from this your notching from this your notching here you join it all the way down to the hem of the dress all right so i'll go to the sewing machine i'll do that you match the two sides together right side to right side and then you're going to join all the way down following your notching so you're joining it with half inch allowance so when you're done joining you're also going to end the bottom part only the bottom part so fold half inch in and then you fold again and then make your stitch you know i added one inch for the emmy allowance fold accordingly so i'm done with the back i'll keep it aside and then i'll walk on the front this is the front we already mash it together right side to right side and then from your notching now we have notching here you join together with this half inch notching all the way down to the hem or all the way down to where you want the slit to start from so this is where i have my slit notching i'm going to backstitch and i'm going to stop here So the next thing I'm going to do now is to open this my slit. You can see my slit. So this is the down part of the gown and this is my slit. So what I will do is just to fold the fold quarter inch in this way. Fold again this way and then you are going to make your stitch all the way to where your slit slit is starting from here. Like half inch above it. So I will also do the same thing to this side. First fold quarter inch, first fold quarter inch and then you fold again like this and then you are going to make your stitch so that you can finish the slit nicely. Then keep your needle in, you rotate the fabric and then you sew across to the second side this way. Make sure you also fold the quarter inch in and then you fold again and then you sew across this way. And then you are going to raise the foot up again, rotate the fabric this way and then you are going to stitch all the way down to the end of the dress. So can you see we have neatly finished the slits you can go ahead at this stage and then you aim the bottom part of your gown and you also do the same thing to the back i added one inch allowance so i'll fold half inch in and then i'll fold again and i will make my stitch make sure you aim the second side also So we are done with the M. So I'm done joining the center front. This is the front. I've joined together at the center front. I've ironed and opened my seam flat. You can see. This is the wrong side. And you can see, you can see the slit. This is it from the good side. This is it from the go side. This is the back. I've joined the center back and I've ironed 
I open my seam and iron it flat. This is the wrong side. And then this is it on the ghost side. Can you see? Can you see? So the next thing you're going to do now to match front and back together. Match them together. Right side to right side. And then you're going to take back to your sewing machine. You're going to join the shoulders together with half inch seam allowance, allowance. Then after that, you're going to aim the sleeve opening before closing the sides. So I'll take to the sewing machine and I'll do that. I'm done with one side, you saw with the second shoulder. So I've joined the shoulders together. The next thing you have to do now is to aim the sleeve opening. I've placed my fabric back into four folds. You can see this is my nipple point line. This is my nipple point line like this. So this is going to be my sleeve opening here. So just notch this part so that you can know that this is where your sleeve opening is going to start from by the time you are folding it. Just give it a cut like that. So you open up your fabric this way you can see my nipple point line here and you can see my uh, notch this is my notch from this notch to this second notch that you have here is your sleeve is your sleeve opening so from this notch to this notch is your sleeve opening so what you need to do is starting from this point fold fold quarter inch in starting from this point fold quarter inch in and then you fold again like this and then you're going to make your stitch all the way to this second notching and then you also do the same thing to the second side all right then after that you can go ahead and close the side but for it to be very easy for us to attach the collar i will not be closing the side yet until i'm done attaching the collar all right I'm done hemming the sleeve so the next thing you are going to do now is to attach collar to the neckline that's the next thing that we're going to do is just to attach collar to the neckline and then what you're going to do is you open your fabric the way I've opened it here can you see the way I've opened it here so starting from my notion here, I'm going to measure the neckline all around till I get back to this second notion at this side. Here I have 30 inches, exactly 30 inches. So I'm going to add allowance of one inch to that. So that's going to be 31 inches. So I'm going to cut out a strip of fabric that measured 31 inches. So I'll measure 31 inches. So the width is going to be five and a half inches. So from here to here, I'll measure five and a half inches this way. Five and a half inches. Then I'll rule it all the way here. Then I'll cut it out. So this rectangle here, the length is 31 inches and then the width is five and a half inches. So the next thing I'm going to do, to do now is to fuse it with my stay, my interfacing. So just place it on it and then you iron it on top of it. So I'm done fusing it with my stay. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold it into two this way. Like this, fold it into two like this and then you're going to iron it flat. So I'm done folding it into two 
you don't fold it to, to, to the next thing you want to do is to fold it this way then you notch the center fold into two and you notch the center this way can you see i've put notch in here so this is going to be your center back what you're going to do is to bring your bring your fabric lay it flat this way then you are going to match the notion match it together if you know it's not going to be easy for you to sew like this you can first take to the sewing machine and stitch the mouth together here this open head you can just go to the sewing machine and, and run it together all right so place the notion on top of your center back this way this is my center back match the notion of the collar on top of it and then you are going to pin you pin it this way then you pin the collar all around the neckline to the point where you have your notion in front can you see to so where you have your notion in front like this pin the second side also all the way to where you have your notion also Alright, so you take to the sewing machine now. Starting from the center front, you're going to st stitch the collar on the neckline all around. So starting from your notching, you can see my notching here. Can you see? Starting from my notching, I'm going to stitch the collar all around the neckline with half inch allowance. Okay, so I'm done joining the collar. I'm done attaching the collar to the neckline and this is how it is. Can you see? I stop where my notion is and I start where my notion is here. So the next thing you want to do now is for you to take this to the sewing weaving machine. You weave round this collar. Weave it all around. Starting from where your notion is, exactly where you sew, just weave it. So I'll go ahead, I'll do that now. I've weaved it, so this is how it's looking. So the next thing you want to do now is to turn it to the wrong side. Turn it to the wrong side. This way. Turn it to the wrong side. You can see the edge of your collar. Can you see the edge? Bring it like this. Bring the second one also. Bring it inside. It to this side this way. Can you see the way it is? bring it here to the wrong side the mouth of the collar so then you lift it up by the time you lift it up you will see the raw edge of the fabric here can you see the raw edge of the fabric here can you see the raw edge this is the raw edge of the fabric so bring them together the three of them the collar the two collar this is the two collar one collar second collar and then the raw edge of your fabric Match them together the way I'm showing you here. Then you pin it. Then you take it to the sewing machine. Starting from where your notion is, you sew across to the second notion. And then your collar is ready. So I'll take it to the sewing machine now. And then I'm going to stitch it together. So I'll just stitch it down. Like this. So please, at this point here, please kindly take a moment to give me a thumbs up. Please, just click that like button. Thank you. Turning this to the good side now. So from the good side, this is how it looks from the good side. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out that that design that is in front. I did say you can wear it like this. Let me even put it on my neck so that we can see how it is. This is how it's looking at this stage. You can even rock it like this. Eh? Eh? Or you can even do this type of neckline on another design. 
right so we are going to be cutting that design in front now and for that you'll be needing another fabric another square of fabric so the length of this fabric is going to be 12 inches and then the width is going to be 10 inches just a rectangle or is it a square now where my fabric starts here i'm going to measure 12 inches this is 12 inches and then from here again i'll measure 10 inches i'll measure 10 inches then i'll roll it The length from here to here is 12 inches and then like this is 10 inches. So what you do next is to fuse it with your stay. So I'm going to be fusing it with my stay. So after fusing it with stay, you are going to be folding the edge like this and then you iron it. You do the same thing to the bottom part and then you do the same thing to the second side half inch like this you do the same thing here half inch you fold half inch here also this thing you are going to be doing now is i'll measure four inches inward like this and i will note that point that point and then from this hand i'm going to measure five inches from here upward i'll measure five inches five inches like this can you see then the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold it from these two points now fold it like this inward like this can you see the way i folded it fold it inward like that and you are going to high on then you cut off this remaining excess cut off this remaining excess can you see the way i've done it so just cut the excess out Can you see? So the next thing you are going to do now is to stitch this on your dress. So this is my dress. So and this is the thing that we already cut for the design. You can see the way it is. So what I'll do now is you can see this raw edge. Mash it right side to right side. First you can first note the center. Wash the center. So what I will do. This is the center joining and this is where my neckline stops. So I'll place this half inch above where the Ankara is. That is half inch into the collar like this. Place it on top of each other like this. Right side to right side. Right side to right side. All right. Match the notion to the center line. This way. Match it to the center line this way. And then you are going to pin. Then you take it to the sewing machine and stitch down. So you take to the sewing machine now and you stitch with half inch. So when you are done, you are going to now flip it this way, this way, and then you are going to top stitch this part. You top stitch this part. You can use your hemming gum inside and how it's not going to be shifting all around. So, but first, I will take to the sewing machine now, so here. Alright, so I'm done stitching here. So the next thing you want to do now is to flip it this way. And then you are going to take to your sewing machine and go to top stitch this part down. But for it to be very easy for you, that's why you need your hemming gum. Just put some hemming gum here inside like this and then you are going to iron it. You can, after putting the hemming gum, you can decide to leave it like that. But you know hemming gum, after some time, they used to like remove. So I'm just going to top stitch it. All around so but place your hemming gum inside so that it can help it so that it can help you to hold it in place or you can also pin it since we've ironed the edges inward you can be able to manage it if you're a pro but for beginner please put hemming gum or you pin so that you put hemming gum or you pin it and then you're going to top stitch so i'm going to be putting hemming gum then i'll iron it
So I'll take to the sewing machine now and I'll top stitch here. So I'm going to be changing the upper thread to a machine thread with my design here. Don't top stitching the design. The next thing you want to do now is for you to match the right side of your fabric together with right side of the front together with the back and then you are going to be closing the side of your dress starting from your sleeve opening here you start sewing with half inch all the way down then to the second side you do the same thing half inch all the way down I'm using half inch to join the sides together all right so if you're watching me for the first time please kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not done so please kindly subscribe just take a minute break and subscribe <laughs> and don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up so i'm going to be closing the side with half inch starting from the sleeve opening all the way down to the hem of the dress Thank you. 